I'd like to see the householder, please. No. <laughs> the householder, Mr. Shepherd. <laughs> well, who was it? I don't know. <laughs> well, what did they want? How the hell do I know? <laughs> He gets worse instead of better. And you know, the funny thing was, when he was a little lad, you couldn't stop him talking. Nineteen to the dozen. Till his dad started locking him in the coal cellar, that is. Then he stopped. Now, who could that be, I beg leave to wonder? Somebody else had to do it. Somebody else, my left eye, boy. You've left them standing there, haven't you? Oh, no. I'm inquiring after Mr. Shepherd. Oh, well, we've, uh, we've got four of them, love. Uh, did you want one in particular, or shall I mix you a few up? I think you know who I'm referring to. I'd like to see the householder, Mr. Lionel Shepherd. Well, you need binoculars, then. He's working at Carlisle at present on motorway. Do you want to leave a message? I have a strong reason to believe that you're harbouring an azalea. Oh, not us, love. We're not allowed to keep pets. <laughs> I won't waste my breath asking where it is, Mr. Right, oh, then. Ta-ra. But I'd just like to give you fair warning that these incidents do not go unnoticed. This is a petition, Mr. Shepherd, and so far I've collected 495 signatures. When I've got 500, it's going down to the housing authorities. And I think you know what that implies. <coughs> What seems to be the trouble, Jack? It's busy Lizzie. She's trying to get us chucked out again. And this time I've every hope of succeeding. Five more signatures, that's my target. And do you know what my target is, missus, if you don't shift? Your backside with my boot right up it. You know, I think I'll just give some crumbs to the little dicky birds. Mrs. Blakey, people of that caliber, they don't deserve justice. To deserve justice, you are expected to show a little bit of respect towards your fellow men. Do you know, Mrs. Petty, that my hubby actually caught one of them, the brother-in-law, actually passing water on the communal flower beds? Oh, <laughs> it's disgusting, Jacob. Was it the gatto you said, dear, or the petit fours? Half a dozen of the gatto. <laughs> I'll admit it, we have to. Sure, pubs were shut, but there was a full moon. Mind you, the number of good citizens who put their name to that petition has completely restored my faith in... What do you want? Oh, carry 
on, love. I'm not in any great rush. You can serve this woman first. This lady and myself were engaged in a private conversation between ourselves. Uh, well, don't let me stop you. I don't mind waiting. Oh, bubbles to you then. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll take these four little custard tarts. Those here. happen to be reserved for a special customer. Oh. And for your further enlightenment, they happen to be individual cream caramels. Mm, well, they look the spitting image of custard tarts to me. <laughs> Still, never mind. I'll leave it over then. It's custard tarts or nothing with our bunny. He troughs them back like a sow once he gets started. Ta-ra then. Oh, there was just one thing while I'm in the area. This list of uh, people's names that you're getting up. Oh, yes. You know, this, uh, this, whatchamacallit, this, um... I believe you're referring to the communal petition. That's it. Well, I thought, as I'm doing nothing, I might just as well stick my handle on. I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, I know, I know it's against all my better principles. I mean, our Lionel would strangle me with his bare hands for doing it, but still, what the eye doesn't see. <laughs> is, uh, is that it, by any chance? It is, yes. Oh, well, uh, chuck it over, then. I shall do nothing of the kind, Mrs Shepherd. You what, love? I say I shall not allow you to make a mockery of that list. I'm not joking, love. I want my name on that petition. And I say you're not getting it. And who's going to stop me? Love. I don't think you take Mrs Petty's meaning, Mrs Shepherd. You see, it's about you, that list of names. Did anybody ask you to chime in? she on the list? Mrs Blakey's name was first on the oh, list. Yes, well, of course, I suppose if I bought 12 Cornish pasties here every Saturday instead of giving my lads a proper dinner, I'd be on the list and all. <laughs> Mrs Shepherd, signatures are confined to bona fide rate payers. And don't I count as a rate payer? That's something of a moot point. Don't you moot point me, Mrs. <laughs> you moot point yourself down that town hall you're so fond of and get your goggle eyes clocking over that rate payer's arrears list because you'll find Queenie Shepherd's name right at the flaming top of it. Now, hand it over. Mrs Shepherd, I've no intention of allowing you to sign that list. All right then, suit yourself. It's a pity though because you'd be doing me a very big favour. She doesn't understand, you see. It hasn't sunk in. Mrs Blakey, <laughs> my name is Rosie, not Dozy. That's what they call me. <laughs> that petition is to get us chucked out of our flat, right? Yes. Mm. Well, I'm all for...